I feel a little crazy, but here goes. Uh, welcome to my vlog. This is my first time, well, I've been to the Seattle airport before, but that didn't really count, so this is my first time uh, in Seattle. And it's a 10 day trip, and yeah, let's go. I think I got off at the wrong stop, so we are at Westlake right now and I'm trying to get back onto the light rail to get to where I need to go. Rookie mistake. Okay, so I'm finally at UW. Now I'm going to head to walk to the dorms to check in. It's really pretty here and yeah, so far enjoying things. I just checked in at Willow Hall and now I'm in uh, McCarthy Hall, not McCarthy, what I <laughs> Um, McCarthy Hall, and my job is to find my room, which is on the fifth floor, so I think I gotta find an elevator. Okay, see you in a bit. Big. Wow. So, after about, oh my gosh, after about an hour and 15 minutes, uh, I'm finally settled in. Bed made, uh, Shoes on the floor. I don't know if I'm angling the camera right because I can't really see what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So yeah, I have some time to kill before five o'clock, which is our first official meeting as an institute. I think I'll just wander around and explore, but I'll see if I can find a piano. Spoiler alert, I couldn't find a piano, but the pretty sights on campus more than made up for it. So that means I had to perform in front of everyone at the introduction meeting without any warm up whatsoever and I was so nervous like my hands were shaking. But luckily I think I, I did alright and it was amazing like getting to see how talented everyone else was. Then we went afterwards to a restaurant called Taste of Xi'an to try some really delicious thick spicy noodles. <laughs> Hello, it is day two of the Seattle Piano Institute. Currently, where I am is I'm in the practice rooms. My pra well, we alternate practice room. No, alternate's the wrong word. We like trade practice rooms. So you get a different one each day. The one I've got today has got two pianos. One of them I like more than the other, but it's just personal preference. And yeah, so I'll be practicing for a little bit. I have a lesson right before lunch and yeah okay so i just finished the post lunch round of practicing and i also had my first lesson it's with professor shepherd i played uh shostakovich prelude and fugue number two in a minor i also played some chopin etudes and i think his main comment was that i need to be more aware of my playing because there were some problems that i had that i didn't even know i was doing for example in the Chopin Etude Aeolian Harp, I was playing unevenly and I didn't even realize it, so I need to pay more attention and be more self-conscious when I'm practicing. Later in the day, we went to Westlake to go see the public market, visit the gum wall. I even got to try some really good, uh, I believe it was mushroom and potato, baked good from a bakery called Proshki, which was amazing. 10 out of 10 would go again. Back from Westlake, Nicole's boyfriend Zach 
drove us back home and we stopped by a boba place called TBT where I ordered this honey lemon boba and the boba was like perfectly cooked, it was so good. Okay, day three of the Seattle Piano Institute. We just had our meeting in the fishbowl. The fishbowl is kind of like this glass windowed area inside the music school. So we had our daily group meeting there. And now I am walking back to the dorms because I forgot my schedule for the day on my desk, which was a big mistake. But that schedule has like the practice room that I'm supposed to be in for the day. So it's kind of important. I don't know why I forgot it. But anyways, you know. Later that day, we went to a dance studio on campus to learn water bending. Uh, just joking. Well, I, th I think we were learning some principles of rhythm and body control and like movement control, but it was, it was quite fascinating for me. I was really wiped out after that, so I took a short nap on a bench outside the music school uh, while I waited for the next master class. Later that night, because I discovered a practice room on the second floor of our dorm, we had a little bit of a karaoke session. Hello, it is another sunny day on the UW campus. I just finished my first lesson of the day and now I'm on my way back to the dorms because I need to get some painkillers because I'm having a little cramp situation. But yeah, how did it go? So the lesson was with Professor McCabe. I was very much in awe and a little scared the entire lesson because she radiates intelligence. Like, you know, she's got like, she's got like so much going on in her head and she's very observant. And the advice she gives on how to improve your playing is really good. Directed towards the exact problem that you need to, or the exact issue that you're having at the moment. So yeah, went quite well. I think the main focus of the lesson, because I played the Chopin etudes for her, the wrong note etude and the cello etude. The main focus was working on my wrist, relaxing my wrist, having the correct posture for my wrist. And now I know I tend to have a bit of a low wrist when playing those etudes and it needs to be a bit higher, especially because there's so many black keys. Also, during like the B section of the wrong note etude, I need to have like a lot more circular motion with my wrist. So that was the majority of what we talked about was my wrist problems. So after I go back to the dorms, get the painkillers, I'll go back and go do some more practicing before lunch. After lunch, we were treated to a little seminar about bird song and its relations to music. Then I had a master class for uh, Professor McCabe which was frankly a little nerve wracking because it was my first master class at the Institute. Uh, but I think it went all right. I played the Appassionata and um, she had a lot of interesting comments about my interpretation and uh, ways of staying uh, faithful to like the style in which Beethoven intended it be played. For dinner, we went to the University Village, which is like the sort of open mall next to the university filled with like food and shopping, which was really cool. I bought some chicken tenders, which is like the least exciting thing you could have bought in that situation, but um, they were good chicken tenders. After eating as a group, we headed back to the university and attempted to go practice, but the music building was locked and we couldn't get anyone to get us in, so we went to the second room practice, oh, sorry, second floor practice room again, and had karaoke session part two, this time with my roommate Audrey added, in addition to Brayden and Jackie and I. Are you gonna do the beat? Second verse. <laughs> huh? Second verse, go back, go back! Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so this is my breakfast. Uh, it's strawberries, grapes, and chicken tenders. I just finished about an hour of practice. Um, and it's the weekend, right? So the day starts a little usual then later. After I do this, then I'll go back to my dorm, and grab a couple things, and then We'll be going to the fishbowl for a quick group catch up. And then I think today's like one of my free days. So I'm not actively doing anything, but I think there's a masterclass later, a joint masterclass between Professor Shepard and uh, McCabe. So yeah, there's that. And all in all, it'll be pretty relaxing for me at least. <laughs> Keep it with you for the time being. This is the most soda I've drank in like years. 
When the masterclass was done, we did a fun little scavenger hunt Nicole planned for us. We nearly got lost a couple times. Somehow we finished first, which was kind of crazy, but yeah, I enjoyed getting to get to know my group mates a little better. <laughs> wow, <laughs> scurvy. <laughs> Aw, oh, hell no. Look at this spider! Why is he so large? Ah, oh, shit! Oh my god, where did he go? Actually, I don't think I have any footage from the rest of that Sunday, but the next day, Monday, was really thrilling because we had professors Chang and Chow from the Oberlin School of Music, and they gave a masterclass for us, and they also gave a duet and duo performance for us, which was um, really amazing. Like, as, as a duet pianist myself, I was so wowed by their preciseness and control and how well they worked in tandem with each other. <laughs> Nicole took me and some of the other SPI kids out to Chinatown for some food. We went to this Chinese restaurant. It was really quite good. I ordered turnip cakes, Brayden ordered some fried rice, and everyone else ordered a bunch of other dishes as well. But there was just so much food, so we decided to eat family style, and uh, no regrets. It was all very, very good, especially the ceramic pot bowls with the crispy rice at the bottom. I, I really liked it. Where is the sunset? Wow. Whoa, wait, let's go over there because you can see the mountain. It's gorgeous. The next day was day two of Professor Chang and Chao's visit. They were giving another round of master classes and I was lucky enough to get to be in a master class and play for the two of them. And I ended up having the honor of Professor Chao teaching me. He had a lot of, I played the Beethoven Appassionata, a different movement than the master class I did for Professor McCabe. He had a lot of good comments about my interpretation for that, which I really valued. And I got a picture with Professor Chang. Jojo Stan. Why do you know all these gang signs? No, this is W for U dub. Oh. oh. The next day, Nicole took us on a field trip to downtown Seattle, where we got to visit all sorts of cool things. Like we saw a bookstore, 
um, two bookstores actually. One was full of new books and the other one was full of used books. Immensely entertaining and I took many pictures of all the books I wanted to read. H.G. Wells, you like science fiction? What about this? Huh? Uh, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norwell. And then we ate at a ramen restaurant, uh, Tetsujin, I think it was called, um, which had really authentic ramen. And just everything about the restaurant was authentic. They had like the noodle stall situation where there's like individual stalls, like for two people each, and there's like a curtain that you can pull back for privacy. The ramen is like very thick. It's like a bone broth and it was, it was really good. It was really good. Nicole even shared some of her noodles with me. Yeah, what a treat. And afterwards we went to try this ice cream shop and then I got to try mint chocolate chip, which is my favorite ice cream flavor. Um, and I got two scoops, which was probably a little too much because I can barely finish it. That evening when we returned to campus, Nicole took us to a karaoke place. Not, not the second floor practice room, a bona fide karaoke place this time. <laughs> oh, it's like a real karaoke place. <laughs> what? Wow. <laughs> These lights are so cute though. Wow. Oh. Cut to the next morning, I saw a squirrel. I also saw two bananas on the steps outside the dining hall, which was kind of fuddling, but I decided not to question it and let them be. In the evening, we went to visit the art museum. We only had like an hour, which was uh, really unfortunate because I wanted to spend more time there. I think out of all the exhibits there, my favorites were, there were like these older European style paintings where the like contrast and the use of color was so vivid. It felt like so real and so detailed. I, I was in love, you know? So yeah, quite liked those. After that, we went to the public market. Are you a fan of steampunk? Yes. You have to sing for that <laughs> And I went to Baroshki's again, because like I said, uh, would go again and did go again. This time though, I tried a tindui from the Misum Bakery that was a little bit down the road. Super overpriced, but not bad. <laughs> After that, we all walked to go watch a chamber music concert to listen to the Brahms clarinet trio, which was something that I had played last summer. Because you know, when you play something, you really get an understanding of how difficult it is and where the challenging parts are. And even though performers might make it seem flawless and effortless on stage, when you've played it, you know. Um, so that was quite fun for me to be able to see that and say, hey, I know what's going on in the piece. When we returned back to campus, we ended up going to this self-serve boba place and I got to like design my own boba. Hey. The following day, the entirety of SBI went to the Burke Museum and I saw a lot of like really cool dinosaur exhibits, archaeology exhibits. There were some indigenous people's exhibits there as well. Later in the day, I had a masterclass with Professor Shepard.
Random Pokemon. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Oh shit, $190? Goddamn. Wait, I have that game. I remember the machine. There's also like a machine. Oh, it's just the height. Because I just, you know. No, it's just weird that you never like try Wait. to. Oh, you yeah, push. Yeah, you push it. Whoa. How do you open it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you got a Jasmine, I believe in you. Wait. Use 100% of your power. <laughs> Funny. Eight. Eight. Cute. What is, is that? Is this upside down? Is this supposed? No. Oh. I have no idea. But it's. <laughs> I, I think you should name him Guatemil. <laughs> <laughs> so it's too much like oatmeal for my liking. Yeah. Or how about you, Quavis? Oh <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, is it good? Can I like stop? What were you expecting? Yeah, you guys. <laughs> the, the mixed what does that mean? <laughs> oh, sorry, I was gonna give you that movie too. <laughs> <laughs> the shadows are. <laughs> and here it came. The last day of SBI, uh, we had our grand old recital, um, said our goodbyes, ate some cake. Well, I didn't, because, you know, dairy-free, but everyone else ate some cake. Um, and it, it was a little sad because, you know, when are you ever going to see everyone in person again? But, you know, like I said to everyone, with uh, the music community being the way it is, I'm sure we'll all run into each other again one day. Um, and yeah, headed back to the airport with Lillian, whose flight was coincidentally a similar time to mine. Uh, and that was it. That was the uh, Seattle Piano Institute. Thank you for watching this video and sticking with me the entirety of the way, or maybe you just skipped to the end. I don't know. No, uh, no shaming here for that. <laughs> but yeah, see you next time.